Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's day 15, the second episode of this Growing Mango Trees from Seed Series. There's been a lot of progress in just two days. As you can see, the leaves are unfurling. Instead of the five or so I thought were going to come out, I have more than that. And this stock is nice and fleshy. It's shiny with a beautiful red sheen. It remains yet to be seen if something else is going to come out of there. But in the meantime, it looks like there's two shoots here. And I'm pretty sure they're from the same seed because the four seeds are positioned sufficiently far apart that I don't think that could have happened by some kind of freak accident of a shoot emerging from another seed all the way over here at the base of this stalk. So those are a nice green. They don't have that red sheen and that might mean that seed is polyembryonic. I've read a little bit about this. The other two locations don't have anything yet. Although I think there is a bulge um, that might come out in one of the more favorable spots if you go clockwise from this four position uh, orientation, this grid. So I'm just going to water a little bit to keep the top layer of soil wet. I don't want to push the fertilizer that I put in earlier all the way down to the bottom of the pot. And let's take another look. It does indeed look like another shoot is coming out. These stalks come out green. And this seed is apparently polyembryonic, whereas the first mover is maybe monoembryonic. I'm not an expert on any of this. Uh, perhaps there are many of you out there that are mango seed experts and mango cultivar experts. You can tell me more. It's day 17, two days later, and as you can see, this looks very robust. has two beautiful green shiny stalks. The leaves are somewhat less rigid than in the first mover and it does appear to have these little for the first shoot that came out uh, leaves that seem almost non-functional maybe they're some sort of cotyledon I don't know I don't think they're meant to get very big and for this first mover I'm not sure if that's part of the seed that's still in there and because it was exposed to light became green or is there another shoot that's about to come out at any moment now and in the background, after this two days, we have a new shoot that's coming out. This one more resembles the first mover. So this is the third mover, and it's got this beautiful red sheen to its uh, original stalk. And it looks like it might not be quite as long, although you can never tell. So there's nothing in that area yet. It gets covered sometimes by the shade of the passion fruit in the background, which looms large over everything else. So I'm taking some dried crummy potting mix and filling the gaps. I'm doing some micromanagement in the very early stages just to ensure that I get the best possible start for all these seedlings. And this will help prevent evaporation, which is uh, very understandably going to happen if you have a huge gap created by the sprouting movement of the potting mix by these massive shoots and seeds which have shoot systems and root systems moving around bulldozing all this earth away in their path so i think with this little bit of micromanagement it'll help conserve moisture in the root system not that i think it's a big problem because i've been sprinkling some water to ensure everything stays wet on the first day so we're taking a closer look and these leaves are a little bit different from the second mover seems like the leaves are more rigid and they're droopy so they're not rigid because they lack integer pressure or structural integrity. It's just that seed is fundamentally different somehow. So it's day 18, the day after. As you can see, I think the second mover is actually the one that may eventually be the one coming out on top, the healthiest one. Whereas the other two are something slightly different. Maybe there was a different cultivar involved in this harvest but I think generally speaking out based on what I've read online the polyembryonic ones are the ones you want those are from the original you know Philippines derived uh, mango cultivars which made their way to Central America maybe Indonesian cultivars as well and this one is very interesting because it has so many leaves coming out of it. So it's a little different from the first mover as well. 
So if you want fruit trees that are identical to the parent tree, obviously getting a cutting and using it for grafting is one way, or just growing it from a cutting uh, from seeds, you get genetic rearrangement and all these questions and you know origin questions about cultivars. So there's definitely something to be said for that, um, but this has been a very interesting series already, and I'm um, Really excited to see what happens in the future.